greetings and ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, thank you for taking comment and introducing subscribers, and all subscribers, just generally anybody who still watches these videos, welcome back. He's coming! <laughs> oh god, that sun is bright. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another day and another video. <laughs> it is currently 5 to 8 in the morning. And I'm uh, feeling every last bit of it. So I had my first warning light pop up on the bike. <laughs> but I will preface this by saying it was my own fault. It is due to my own fault. So there is nobody to blame but me. And that red light was the oil light. Now for years I was always brought up to be brought up to know that that oil light means oil pressure and when that light comes on you ain't got no oil pressure but it turns out it's oil level and uh, yeah I need some oil in the bike which I have still to be honest I have still to put in so But I'll get to it. I actually think it might get serviced anyway in the next few months, so I will uh, top it up for now, and then I'll fill it up. Or no, I'll get someone else to do it. <laughs> so yeah, it was actually a last while between from the last service, so I will literally. I think once it's back from holiday in September, I'm gonna book it in and get it done. Get an oil change done and we look over just to make sure everything's hunky dory. The last bit of this month is going to be a bit hectic because I plan, I, well, I wanted to go to the last Donington BSB, but it's too close to the end of September, uh, as in it is the end of September. And uh, I was going to go to that and then go to the bike show in November but then I thought no screw it I'll just go to the bike show in November and then uh, go to the start of the year because the start of the year is always better next year I will hopefully be going to a VR fest just because you know it's a new event that I've never been to. It looks like good crack. It is a wee bit further down in England too, so it's like... Maybe make it into like a weekend type thing, like leave on the Thursday and back on the Sunday night, Monday. Uh, I know a lot of people like Safi Sprocket, you've got Girl on a Bike this year, or next year, sorry, who are doing uh, talks. You, there seems to be a lot on with it, so I'll think I'll go and see how it is. It sounds like a good weekend. Tickets are only like 80 quid or something, so I'm sure I can figure out how to put a tent up on my own for a weekend. Looking forward to that because I know a good few, of, a good a good load of people that go to that, so I can quite genuinely say I'm going to know a good load of people, and I'll have a laugh and have a blast with them. I really am open. Next year will be the year to get a lot more running around on the bike. So yeah, gotta keep busy next year. Or going to keep busy next year. Might slide a wee tour in there somewhere, just to. You know, mix things up. I was actually testing out uh, GoPro angles on my chest mount, which is this picture right here. Um, what I'm going to do is literally I'm going to wait till the busiest day for me to commute to work. And then I'm just going to post the whole video from a chest mount. It's kind of like a new edit challenge or very little edit challenge because, you know, 
speedo needs to be blocked. And then hopefully in the next couple of weeks I will get organised with Safi Sprocket and Mr. Fish. Big Mr. Fit, the Chronicles of Mr. Fish. Get them as on a Zoom chat, Zoom interview type thing. I've got a tire review to, uh, or tire opinion video to put out. Uh, so much stuff to do. Need to get a couple more of the biker hotspots done, so we'll have those in reserve for the winter. So yeah, don't forget, if you have anything you want to say, like how are you, how you been, what you doing, all this here, drop drop it in the comments down below and uh, we'll have a chat. Don't forget, like, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. It doesn't take much of getting into the groove. I just got to get a few things sorted. Don't forget, keep it lit. And if you can't keep it lit this year, I mean, start organizing for next year. That's like a cheat code. Incoming! <laughs>